Whoopie pies. Whoopie pies for the 4th of July. Whoopie pies for the 4th of July. Good morning. Today we're making whoopie pie cookies. Your favorite Canadian making a delicious American treat to celebrate the 4th of July. Let's learn to master bake. But first, you know, you know the drill. Whoopie pie. See you in a few minutes. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> Give him the old hot too. You mad we're not paying attention to you? Probably. Where's the chicken things? <laughs> All right, before we start anything, what is your number right now? My number is probably like a nine. We're about to get started. We're about to make some whoopee pies for the 4th of July. First step, we're gonna preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Come on, oh my. Sorry. Sift the flour, the cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt into a medium bowl. I feel like it's just making it annoying. Just smack that ass. <laughs> First of all, I don't even know what a whippy pie looks like. Can we get an image, Alex? Okay. <sighs> Excuse me, I burped. Excuse me. And I'm gonna need another spatula. So in this bowl, we're going to beat together the brown sugar and the butter, which is room temperature. Sorry. You stopped filming right as I threw that. How dare you? Ready? <laughs> I'm gonna beat this until it's mixed. It's supposed to be sort of fluffy, but it didn't, doesn't really look that fluffy to me. Maybe this is fluffy. Let's see. Sure. Wet sand, if wet sand was fluffy. That Got our one egg. Room. <gasps> Blink one. There it is. Medium high for three minutes. Ready? It doesn't smell like peanut butter. It just smells like, <laughs> like nothing to me. Like that, see? That's how you mark half. Accuracy level. All of it. It doesn't really matter because it all gets mixed in. C plus. Thank you. Wait, where's the buttercream? In the microwave. <laughs> Half of this. <laughs> now it smells good, okay. That's way better. <laughs> now we're gonna add our remaining flour. Oh, that's actually still a lot of flour. Ready? Wee. This is a very thick batter. I think I might've used the wrong attachment, perhaps. It's so like sticky, it just climbs up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it is so sticky. I don't know, that looks pretty like thick dough. Like it says it's supposed to be sticky. Sticky like Vicky. <laughs> I said sticky. Sticky like Dicky. So like, I don't know, it looks delicious. How would you rate this cake better? It's made with a special cocoa powder, like I mentioned. It's really thick. Mm-hmm. If I can imagine marshmallow in my mouth at the same time, these are probably gonna be so freaking good. Oh. Bake with Gina. But you might wanna go brush your teeth. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay, my number is probably still a nine. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna use this ice cream scoop to scoop the batter onto our prepared sheets and then we're gonna put them in the oven. Yes, that, oh, it totally worked. Okay. Two inches apart, probably like here, or like, you know what I mean. Just two. What? You just called this two inches apart? Huh? <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, 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 what's going on? Just hanging around. I'm baked as heck right now, leave me alone. That's like three and a half inches. Oh my God! Ta-da! We're gonna put this in the oven for 11 minutes. Bye! Slid right in there. <laughs> I'm gonna make as many whoopie pie cookies as I can out of it. We're not gonna waste any food around here. Ha! Anyways. It didn't make a noise. Look at our whoopie pies. They kinda do look like just blobs of chocolate pudding. Look at them, they look so good. They're not like nice little scoops anymore, but that's okay. It'll be fine. This is fine. There's literally a minute left. What do you want to do for a minute? Rock, paper, scissors, but you have to keep your glove on. Huh? Huh? 15 seconds. It says until they look dry on top, and they kind of do look like that, so... Always lick the bowl. Life's too short. Now that it's been five minutes, I'm gonna put them on the cooling rack and let them cool down some more. It's because I know it's gonna slap so hard. Like that. Good. These are the ones that I shook the f shit out of them, so... They look the same. Okay. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Excuse me. So I finished the caterpillar. They actually look like little caterpillars now. Caterpillars in love. Top up time. There we go, now they're out. Wham, wham. My number right now is probably a nine and a half. Point. Six nine or something. Ready? I'm gonna cut it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want this half. <laughs> How is it? You want some? <laughs> yeah, I um, it definitely has that like deeper cocoa flavor because of the different. It's the Dutch process or whatever. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I've got a bowl. I've got my mixer. Spatula. And we've got our icing sugar, some salt, and marshmallow fluff with the vanilla. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm struggling. You're smiling so big right now. It's <laughs> so good. Mmm. <laughs> Bloop. Bleep. 296. What was it supposed to be? 297? If I'm going over, I'm going over. I'm permanent. Don't be suspicious. Don't, Don't be, be suspicious. suspicious. Now we're gonna make the icing. We've got 300 grams of marshmallow fluff. Stick. <laughs> Come on. Ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> Low. <laughs> Smells kinda good. So now we're gonna mix in the powdered sugar, the vanilla, and the salt. It says powdered sugar first, but I half wonder if I should just... Ignore the instructions and do what you feel like. <laughs> Does it matter? I'm just gonna... This is what it says. Two seconds later. Get the heck down! This is looking really good. Nice. Oh my god, that's so yummy. It's done! Mm hmm. Are you excited about what it's gonna taste like together? This is gonna be like a homemade Oreo cookie. Do you think this will be your favorite cookie of all the ones we've made so far? Possibly. Now that it's ready, I'm going to put it into this bag. This is my lazy piping. Here we go. All right, so now I'm gonna scoop some of this in here. 
Did I get it? I think that might have went in. <laughs> I'm gonna cut a corner off of it and use it to pipe it onto the cookies and make little sandwiches. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> All right, our very first. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it looks so good though. You should definitely make whoopie pie cookies for 4th of July, okay? Look how delicious this is, why not? Whoopie pies for the 4th of July. Whoopie pies for the 4th of July. I have never had a whoopie pie before. So this is my first time trying one. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I would rate this whoopie pie a 9.569 out of 10. Delicious. Wait, 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 wait. Three. It's not overpowering sweet. It tastes like those little cupcakes that have the cream filling in them. <clears throat> oh, like the hostess ones? Yeah, the hostess ones. Oh my little, gosh. That's exactly what it tastes like. You think so? Mm -hmm. Straight from the cow's tip. Just, oh my god, that was so good. That was a lot in one mouthful, but that was very good. Swallowed like a champ, though. Oh, what the fuck? Always do. <laughs> Thanks for coming to make some whoopie pies for the 4th of July with me. This has been Baked with Gina. New episode every Thursday. Learning to master bake. If you like this video, you might like this one. Or is it on this side? I don't really remember. But anyways, bye. What do you think of it? Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs>